this is not a drill. I got the new Sabiasachi by Estee Lauder lipstick collaboration, and I am so excited to take them all out and swatch them all for you. I have never been more excited about this, so let's get right into it. Hi everyone, if you're new here, I'm Nina Davalori. I was the first South Asian to win Miss America. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Complexion Diaries, where I share life advice from my life as an activist and former Miss America. So let's get right into this one because I cannot wait. I'm not gonna lie, I ordered these the first day they dropped and I ordered five of them. I am pretty good at choosing colors that I know are gonna be good for my skin tone and I'm just so excited for this because I feel like with Sabiasachi and Estee Lauder, they know how to do brown girl skin and I felt like they were gonna focus on brown friendly tones. So I was just really excited to get my hands on this. Obviously there's a luxury element to these. They were not cheap. They were $63 each. I bought every single one of them. They were not sent to me. So I'm gonna give you my first impressions in real time. The shades I bought are Muslin Tea, Calcutta Red, Rouge Bengal, Udai Pour Coral, and Apricot Silk. I am going to start with the original, what seems like probably their hallmark, the Calcutta Red, because it is obviously Calcutta Red. The packaging is stunning. When you open it, it has the Sabiasachi logo inside, which is beautiful and bossed. Look how pretty this is. I mean, I would hope this is pretty. It's $63 and it's Subya, so you know it's gonna be good. It's gonna be quality. This is so cute. It has the logo, the little tiger, on the lipstick itself. How cute is that? It's so perfectly stamped and so pristine. Like, it's like everything I want in a lipstick, in a luxury lipstick. I was trying to explain this to Ryan and I don't think he understood the magnitude or the gravitas of Sabiasachi and him as a Indian designer and everything he's done. And we were in a store which is impeccable and beautiful and Ryan loves art, he's super artsy. But my sister and I were just like, Alexa, stop. My sister and I were definitely hyping it up. I'm gonna take off the lips that I have on and we are going to start. Ugh, it's so pretty, I don't want to like ruin it, but we gotta try. I'm not gonna do a liner because I just wanna see what it looks like on its own. I mean, this is pretty. It's like a satin matte, it's beautiful. This is more of a bluish red, I think, is my guess, because you can kind of just see how it comes through. And it it's, it looks a little brighter on our skin tone than actually, than in, the, um, than in the tube itself, which is really nice, but it glides on. I have so many Estee Lauder lipsticks, so I'm not surprised at that, but this is a really beautiful shade. Like, I feel like this is a great daytime red too. It's not just a, a bold nighttime red. I feel like this actually works. I mean, it's broad daylight and it looks beautiful on the skin. Like it doesn't feel like too much. This was Calcutta Red. Next, I am going to try the Muslin Tea. This is supposed to be a nude color. In fashion, Muslin is the cloth that you make a first sample out of. So instead of cutting up a fabric, like say I have one of my mom's saris, which I don't wanna cut up and experiment on for my first stitch through, I usually make a muslin sample and it's like a very thin, brown, grainy almost type of cloth. And you use that first to fit the person and then you actually cut the true fabric um, for the second garment. So you get everything perfect with the muslin and then you cut like the real fabric. So I love the little homage to fashion in this as well. So this is supposed to be nude. She's nude, she's definitely nude. I mean, she is nude nude. The texture of these is so satiny. It feels so nice. The sunlight is way too bright right now. This is like a really pretty nude, but it still doesn't like wash me out, but it's like a true nude. I would put a gloss over it. I don't know if I would wear it just out like this because whew, she is, she is 
she is nude. Like, the muslin tee is muslin nude for sure. This almost looks like my skin tone, but it has a tiny hint of almost like a sandy um, peach. I would wear this with a gloss for sure. Ooh. This is my first time ever swatching lipstick like this on my channel, and y'all, it is a process. It is a process. I was like, oh, I can do this in half an hour. Nope. No, oh, I don't think I don't think it's gonna be half an hour. I think it's gonna be much longer. Okay, this is gonna be Udaipur Coral. I think this is going to be the summer shade. Like I already feel like we have spring fever and it's 32 degrees right now, but I think this is gonna be a beautiful, beautiful summer shade. I mean, the lion really is like pristine. Let's see what she looks like. I only twist the tube just enough where you see the top. Otherwise, it, you like risk it breaking, even though I know this is well made. Just a tip for future lipstick applications. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. She was right. She was right. This is way more pink than I thought it was gonna be. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I have perpetually dry lips. I've always had really dry lips. And these are actually like making it feel hydrated. It doesn't feel like a dry lipstick. Oh yeah, 100%. This is like summer, spring is here. I'm out, ready to go. You're on the beach, you're running errands in Cabo, Mexico, Europe, wherever the travels may take you to your backyard even. Like put this on, get a beverage, sit outside by the pool, by the beach. I don't care, you do you in whatever way you want, but like this sunnies with this shade and this lip and like a little, the right outfit, you are good to go. You don't need anything more than this lipstick, I think, with a color like this. And it looks really pretty. I typically don't go for like such a pink pink, um, but it it's actually complimenting quite nice. And like I said, I would wear this with like the sunglasses lounging and I think it would be like a perfect pop of color, especially on brown skin tones. It's like noticeable and how quickly you look put together with like a pop of color and sunnies is just, ugh, it's the best life hack. I don't see myself necessarily wearing this in the winter, <laughs> like, but it is a great, great summer shade. Vacation shade, we'll call that. There's just some shades that you know that you grab for vacation. This is gonna be my vacation lipstick for sure. Udai Pour Coral. Okay, next I'm going to do Apricot Silk. And this, my guess, is gonna be like a really pretty peach is what I was hoping that it would be. Ap apricot, obviously. Um, it looks a little more nude, actually. Like, it looks really close to the muslin tee, like to the eye itself. We'll see how she wears. Oh no, I definitely see more peach already than the muslin tea for sure. Mm -hmm. I think this would be really pretty with a liner. My lips are already darker around the edges anyway, so you can kind of see how a liner would really complement this, but Overall, the shade itself, I think, is really pretty. It definitely is more peach than the muslin tee. Like, the muslin tee is gonna be, like, a really true nude nude, and when you pop a gloss over it, it's gonna give you a little more definition than it just looking flat, is what I would do with that one. But for this one, I think this is just, I think this is pretty, honestly, on its own. The more it's, like, warming up, I really like it. But I would wear, I think, definitely with a liner, then I would see more of the peach, like, color coming through. Is it, is it summer? Is it winter? Is it both? What is it? I feel like this is great for spring, summer, and fall. And I think for summer, I would do like a more pink peach liner. And then for the winter, I would do like a darker brown. And I feel like both would actually work really nicely. Do not sleep on peaches because there's like a really like there's a time and place for peach when like a pink is not right and like red isn't right either and that's where like the peach comes in and so I can see this like being really versatile either way okay last shade I have is Rouge Bengal I'm not gonna lie I am very excited for this one I think this is might be my favorite knowing me so I am excited to try this this is like an orange red and uh-huh I just love orange reds. Like, I think they look amazing. 
on our skin tone. You can wear it for summer. You can wear it winter. I feel like especially summer though, a like orange fiery red is one of my favorite combos. Yes, absolutely. This color is fire, literally probably, but uh, I knew I was going to love it and I do. I just want to keep putting more and more of it on, even though I don't need it. But there is nothing like a beautiful fiery red that just pops Ugh, like I had a feeling I secretly also not so secret. I kind of bought these because I really wanted to see if I could find like a wedding day lipstick. I'm nowhere close to getting married right now. You guys like I'm not even engaged, but like it was something I thought about. I was like on my wedding day, you just want to feel like you have a special kind of lipstick. And so that's kind of why I bought both of the reds because I thought both of these reds would be in that category and also would feel like a special just kind of lipstick to have on your wedding day. That feels like one of a kind dish. It's like limited edition. This is my favorite shade for sure. And I am excited for this one. I'm, you're gonna see me in this one a lot. Like. This is gonna be a, this is probably gonna be a go-to. All right, let me see, out of the five, okay, let's see if I can rank them. This is me just going off and seeing. I would do in order of least favorite to most favorite. I would say muslin tea is number five. Then I would put apricot silk at number four. Then the Udaipur Coral at number three, right in the middle, that pink coral pop I think is versatile. Then I would do Calcutta Red as my number, actually no. You know what, now that I'm saying this, I think I might swap the Calcutta Red. No, 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 no. I'm gonna keep the Calcutta Red at number two, only because it's more wearable. I was gonna say, maybe I'll put Calcutta Red before the Udaipur Coral because I feel like the the coral is just a little more fun and pop of color, but I think in terms of wear wearability, if you're looking for wearability, I think the Calcutta Red is probably going to be the most wearable shade, um, especially keeping brown people in mind. And then the Rouge Bengal, just because I love a good orange red, is going to be at my number one. So that's kind of how I'm seeing everything. I feel like all of these are going to be in the mix. I'm definitely going to make an effort to use all of them because they were expensive. First of all, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. And I'm going to share a trick with you because I hope that there's something that you can get out of this. If you have not signed up for Rakuten, um, sign up for it because I was able to get 15% cash back through my Rakuten account at Bergdorf's. And these lipsticks are exclusively available at Bergdorf's. You actually can't order them on the Estee Lauder website or anywhere else. It's only through Bergdorf's. So if you are thinking about ordering these, make sure you sign up for Rakuten, get that 15% cash back. It's a great deal. It, it fluctuates. So when I bought these, they were 15%, but it might, I've seen it anywhere from like 8% to 10. So it just kind of fluctuates. So keep an eye out. If you are going to buy one or if I was going to buy one, I would say Rouge Bengal, number one for me, and then as like a red shade. And then number two, for a neutral shade, I would say the Apricot Silk is probably a more favorite neutral shade because you can put a liner in the fall that makes it a little darker and also lighten it up for the spring and summer if you want as well. So I think that one has more versatility too. Um, okay, I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you want to see. No one asked for this video, but I was very excited for this video and for this try on. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.